Hello and welcome to Mantra Snacks, soul candy that'll melt that stress right out of your life. I'm Kisma from Illumination Academy and I am really happy you're here for this one. Candy apple self-love. Sounds a little cheesy, right? Where to find this self-love and how to keep it. Well, I don't know about you, but when I was a little girl and whenever I had a chance to go to the local fair or the state fair, there was something about those candy apples that were so bright and shiny and sweet and crunchy and maybe I got to have nuts on them. And it was like this once a year snack that when I had it, I was like, oh, this is the best treat ever. And I kind of just, I don't know, lifted myself up a little bit. I felt really proud about my candy apple. And I think for maybe five minutes or as long as it took me to, to eat that, I kind of loved myself. And maybe I thought I did. And then I went back to being a kid and being a teenager and going through all the ups and downs and all the rounds that life sends our way. And self-love is like one of those things. We're always looking at the bookstore for a book on it. We're watching a little video, maybe doing a course. And what the heck is it anyways? Is it that moment where you stand in front of the mirror and you just tell yourself, hey, I love you. I love you. I love you. Maybe you can try it out. Hasn't worked for me yet. Or maybe it's when you look at every part of your body that you supposedly don't like like, and you really love on that. That's a good step. But here's what I really think. I think that self-love is a lot of marketing in this personal growth industry and that the true self-love becomes stronger and more present when we are willing to connect with other people. And when we are willing to understand that we are all interconnected. See, the way you feel sadness is how I feel sadness, maybe to a different degree. Your happiness is my happiness. Your joy and love is my joy and love. We have different degrees and different things that take us up and down, but we are all interconnected. And what happens in this funny world of ours is it's so easy to point the finger and get angry at another person and have resentment or jealousy and compare ourselves. And when you're comparing yourself to Betty over there, you're definitely not going to love yourself more. You're going to think you are less than. But you know what? When you look at Betty and you say, wow, she's rocking it, you are telling yourself, wow, I'm rocking it. Because the moment you understand that there is this beautiful golden thread that connects each and every human, And that as you lift up another and as you see the beauty and the magic in another person, you are actually seeing it in yourself, you begin to cultivate real self-love. See, I believe self-love is not about telling oneself over and over again that we love ourselves, but I mean, it's not a bad thing. Like I said, try it out. But here's what I think is the truth, is that when we really take on the absolute knowledge of understanding, we are interconnected, of understanding that what we do to ourselves, we do to the planet. When we understand and fully accept that what we do to the planet, we do to ourselves, we are beginning to rock our self-love. When we understand it's not just this body and this hair and that smile and those teeth and nose and eyes that we're trying to make better, when we understand that Betty's had her heart broken just as you may have as well. When we are willing to expand our field, to embrace other humans on their path and their journey, we have more self-love. And this is the beauty of being a human being. And it is also what can be so very confusing. Like, what? I'm connected to someone who might be committing crimes? Yes, and a very thin thread you are. But at some level, at some piece, there is or was a spark in that human. And above us all, there is always the divine spark that is ready to be reignited and to shower down over you these sparkles and these, this beautiful sense of being and doing and having. So let's take it to that higher place. Perhaps the self-love is more about tapping into that divine spark essence, Perhaps your self-love, that sustainable self-love, is about knowing that the universe not only has your back, it has your front, sides, up and down. Perhaps that self-love becomes stronger and more passionate 
when you fully accept that you are the same energy, the same divine substance that the universe is. And here is what I know to be true. When you are willing to accept that peace, that what you are created with, this beautiful etheric gold dust is what creates the universe in every particle of it, you will be so less likely to criticize yourself, to hate on yourself, because you know you're hating on your creator, the supreme existence, the unique ultimate energy source. When you love on yourself, you are loving on what it is that is allowing you to breathe and to speak and to see and to think and to hear and to to connect with other humans. When you love on yourself, you are loving on every other human. You're loving on the planet, on every animal. You know, we are in this interconnected matrix. And sometimes we need a higher vision to really bring it into our own self-love. And so, my friend, next time you doubt yourself, you're disliking yourself and you wonder, wow, what's it really mean to love myself? And my therapist says I don't have enough self-love and supposedly in this relationship course, I'm supposed to have more self-love. Well, think of it this way. Every time you love on your own existence more, you love on someone else. Every time you love on you, you love on the planet, on the universe, on the stars and the moon and the sun and the ocean and the waves. Every time you fully accept that you are here with a mission and a purpose, however big or small, you are loving on existence. And we need that love today. There's way too much fear and hatred and negativity out there. So allow yourself love to not be the single pointed all about you, as so many people like to teach. Allow your self-love to be about humanity, about the planet, and about existence. When you see that, when you look in the mirror, just as we talked about in the other mantra snack, when you embody these I am statements of I am love, I am joy, I am the universe. I am the cosmos. I am consciousness. I love the universe. I love consciousness. I am love. Give yourself that vision and give yourself that purpose. It's so much more exhilarating and it will carry you further and be so much more sustainable. Because we're human. We are interconnected. Our love is to be shared, to be spread, and to be definitely multiplied in an infinite way. And it's so much easier to do that when we understand that as we bring a certain feeling and attention and appreciation to our own existence, we do that for everybody. So go out and love. Go out and be a really kind human. Because as you know, the planet needs you. If you'd like to do a little exercise after this snack, I suggest you take a piece of paper and pencil and write down 10 qualities that you truly appreciate about you and that you want to share with someone else. That's exciting. Have a beautiful day and a very heartfelt namaste.